Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here, welcome back to another Monster Hunter World video and today I want to talk to you guys about Arc Tempered Call of Taroth. The quest went live today, which of course means you can now start farming that new Gamma Armor set, going after those new rainbow weapons and there are some really cool ones and we will be doing a video on that too at some point, so stay tuned for that. But first, I want to talk about the armor set as a tradition. Every time there's a new armor set, I break it down, take a look at it, take a look at the skills, so that's exactly what we're doing today. However, just before we dive in, don't forget that the Arix Gaming Christmas jumpers are available right now if you guys want to grab them they are over on the end game store you can find a link to that in the description box down below and we of course also have the giveaway for the limited edition super smash bros nintendo switch if you guys want to enter that you can click the link in the description box down below now to begin with if you want to craft this yourself you're going to need one of the new items that comes specifically from Arc Tempered Call of Taroth, and that is the Call of Taroth Emperor Nugget. Besides that, the rest of the materials are just the ones you've gathered in the past, so I would imagine if you guys have been farming for these weapons, you probably have plenty of the remaining materials, but of course the new ones will still take some farming. Now, aesthetically speaking, we're still looking at essentially the Call of Taroth armor set we're used to, with a, you know, ever so slightly more platinum glow maybe than gold, but essentially it's the same armor set. So let's talk about the skills. Skill-wise, there's actually some pretty cool things to work with here. So first up, you have level 4 handicraft split across two pieces. This, of course, gives you plus 40 weapon sharpness, so that is very nice. You then have level 1 constitution, now it's worth calling out in this particular build, there's a charm on that gives you 3 points in this, so this will just give you level 1, which will of course reduce your fixed stamina depletion by 10%. You then have agitator level 3, split across 2 pieces, so of course while active, you gain plus 12 attack and an increase to your affinity by 9%. You have a level 1 Power Prolonger, which gives you a bonus 10% duration on things like your Longsword Gauge, Jewel Blades, Insect Glaives, Switch Axes and Charge Blades, in turn allowing you to stay powered up for longer. You have level 1 Stun Resistance, which of course reduces the duration of stun by 30%. You have Crit Boost level 1 on the Waist, giving you that further 30% on your critical hits. You have Weakness Exploit level 1 on the Waist as well, so any attacks that hit weak spots have 15% increased affinity. Now having those stacked on the same piece is actually pretty nice, I can see this piece specifically being used on a lot of mix sets. And then finally, you have level one heat guard, which nullifies heat damage, which is, of course, gonna come in pretty handy when you're fighting Kul Taroth. Now, of course, one of the things with the Gamma Armor sets is not just about the skill distribution, it's also about the slots. So the helmet carries one level three slot and two level one slots. This part has power prolonger and stun resistance on. You then have the chest piece, which carries two points in handicraft, one in agitator with a level one slot. You have the gloves carrying the other two parts in handicraft and one point in constitution also with a level one slot so on the slot front not too good but of course on the skill front definitely valuable you have the waist which as mentioned carries crit boost level one weakness exploit level one and a level three slot so definitely a very valuable piece and then finally for the legs you have your two points in agitator and your one point in heat guard with a level three slot and a level one slot so you know if you go after something like agitator and you get heat guard thrown in i can see that itself also being pretty handy so there you have it, that's a look at the Call of Taroth Gamma Armor Set. Really cool armor set, of course, lots of awesome skills and plenty of slots to work with. You know, the Call of Taroth Armor Set was kind of cool before, so it's nice to see there's still some interesting options. But anyway, that's it for the time being. Be sure to keep it locked because I'll have more Monster Hunter videos coming later on today and in the coming weeks, so do keep it locked. And of course, as a reminder, if you guys want to grab this, this is available to buy right now. Thanks very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to check out some more awesome stuff from us here at Arix Gaming, then you should definitely try to catch 269 and Paradise Central streaming 6 days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. They play a wide range of games, and what's more, we also have the end game store. By watching their streams, you earn currency, and you can redeem that currency on the end game store for really cool prizes. Those can range from things like games, comics, and figures, all the way up to controllers, capture cards, and even consoles. So definitely drop by and become part of the community. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure you're subscribed and be sure to click on that little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss our next upload. You can watch more videos by clicking on the options here. But once again, thanks very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.